Hey all, here OS Reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at another unique mood light, and it's a Himalayan salt lamp that also has a wireless Qi charging pad that you can put your phone on to top it up without plugging anything in, and also acts as a stand that can even magnify the sound coming out from your phone's speaker. Similar to the moon lamps that we've been seeing, this is yet another cool idea of adding a touch of color or decor to any room or by the side of your bed. So Himalayan salt lamps also claim to have a few other benefits Fits, aside from looking really cool, claims that it's able to release negative ions and higher levels of negative ions in the air are tied to levels of serotonin, uh, which is a chemical that is produced by the human body that regulates mood. Claim that it will improve things like sleep and allergies. Some of it might be more of a placebo effect. Now in terms of specs of this particular light, it's using LED bulbs, so it should be pretty energy efficient. Wattage is 3 watts and lumens up to 300 lumens, so more of a night light or mood light that's very gentle. Now it does look like there are two variants of this lamp, by the way, so aside from the Himalayan rock salt, uh, which is acting as the rock on top of the light, there's another one which is an amber resin. So inside of the box we have, of course, the lamp itself, along with the Himalayan salt compartment that's actually in a separate little wrap, and we also have the power supply that needs to be, of course, plugged in for the lamp as well as the charging to work, and finally there is also a quick user guide. Taking out the base here, as before mentioned, it is made out of birch wood. We have a few switches on the back that can be used to manually turn everything on or off, a cutout for the AC power plug, and there is even a USB socket that you can use to physically charge a phone using a standard uh, type A cable, wired charging, as well as wireless charging on the top, which is pretty neat. Uh, on the section here, this is where the LED lights are underneath, which will shine and basically heat up and create a light that will shine on the rock to create that interesting glow. And we also have a interesting touch control pad in the center here. It's made out of metal that you can slide your finger on to get the light on and off. The pen holder, along with the smartphone amplifier part that will extend the volume of the speaker because the center of the block here is hollow, so it will try to magnify what's being played. It is worth noting that the Qi charging compartment here is also just made out of this wood on the front, so it doesn't have a texture like soft touch rubber, so if your phone is super slippery, it might slide around a little bit. So perhaps in the next generation model, they can add a bit of rubber accents to protect it, uh, but aside from it, it looks quite good. And then there's also a sticker, keep the lamp of the Himalayan salt on for at least eight hours daily. And I guess that's just to ensure that it gets hot enough. Kind of looks like a quartz crystal from afar that's pink and otherwise slightly translucent, of course. And again, just looks pretty interesting. We can put it onto the top compartment here, kind of just sits into place. It's pretty heavy, so it's not gonna move around by itself. So we can touch on the center here to turn on the lamp. And you can see how it's pretty dim here on the first setting. So we have to really dim the background lights to get the full effect. But after doing so, you can see that it is a pretty warm glow that is comfortable. Again, if you are just having it on before falling asleep, tap and hold to get it at the maximum versus the minimum brightness, as you can see there. So the touch controls uh, do work pretty well. And you can tap once completely to turn it off, tap on it again to completely turn it on. It will remember the previous brightness level that you set it at. So even if we turn on the lights back again at the maximum mode, it still is visible. But as aforementioned, it probably isn't sufficient for doing things like reading or doing too much work. Changing the angle a little bit and just popping our phone down onto this section, we can see that the charging here has started. And it seems like when the charging is in progress, uh, it's actually fast charging wirelessly. As you can see there, it actually supplies 10 watts. The lamp part will also flash once to tell you that it's properly detected the phone. So it gives you a bit of an indication when you first put it on or when you remove the phone. It will also flash again to tell you that the device has been removed and nothing is currently charging. The area of the charging pad is pretty sensitive, so you can also put it onto a slightly offset angle and the charging here will still work as you can see there. So it's not too finicky or picky. Fully charging up a smartphone will usually take around two and a half hours. Now, if you're wondering, yes, the wireless charging does also work with any wireless TWS buds that support Qi wireless charging. So I can pop it on here and you can see it will also begin to charge itself. And now demo for the amplification function just by using the stand. So here's what the phone sounds like as is. Now popping it in.
So overall, I say that it definitely makes a difference in terms of having it removed. Uh, the sound is definitely more quiet. It's still not going to sound as good as a dedicated Bluetooth speaker, but definitely if you have to fill up a slightly larger space, like the entire room, if you're playing something like a nature sound to help you fall asleep at night, uh, this will definitely get the volume to be slightly more immersive. And it seems to be compatible with most average smartphones that we have today. So even with phablets with larger and larger displays, you can see that this particular phone has about a 6.5 inch screen, but I can still fit it comfortably within the stand with some wiggle room. Though it is worth noting that when you pop it onto the stand, you aren't able to use it when charging. Finally, if we remove the salt lamp component, we can see that underneath it really is just that diffused white LED light. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of this Himalayan salt lamp slash wireless charger station that has the Qi charging support along with the amplification for the speaker, stand, and even a pen holder. Uh, overall, it has a very beautiful design to it. it. Reminds me a bit of the sun, actually. Maybe not quite as cost-effective or budget as some of the moon lights that we've been seeing, but still, if you like what you're seeing here, should be an interesting alternative. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Himalayan Salt Lamp Wireless Charging Pad.